he's already at the Futa cap. So we don't want to include any more Futa. So if we scroll back down to where we're at, the green area over here, we're going to say that Futa needs to be zero. And if we put something in Futa there, we're going to end up paying Futa taxes and we'll overpay Futa and then we'll have to adjust it and amend it. And then Suta is the same thing. So Suta, if we go over to the earnings records for this employee, scroll up to the records for earnings, we see that he's over 8,000 here and we can see that he's over 8,000 here. So it already he's already hit the cap there. So I'm going to scroll back to the left. We're going to scroll back down and say he's already hit the cap there. So that means, in other words, no suta. OASDI wages, now we can calculate our taxes, is going to equal, we're going to point to the OASDI times 0 0.062 tab. HI is going to equal the total earnings, because there's no cap, times 0 0.0145. FIT, we would be getting from the tables here. And we, but now since we have the same earnings, I'm going back here, I'm just going to pick up the same earnings just because we don't want to take the time to go through the tables again. So we've already looked up the tables. It's the same earnings here. And that's one of the reasons we'll keep the same data. So we'll say that the FIT, I'm just going to say is equal to the prior FIT because we have the same earnings. Okay. Got it. So now we're going to go to the group insurance. It's going to be the same as the prior year the union is going to be the same as the prior year it's not the prior year by the way prior pay period prior month in our case the 401k is going to be the same as the prior month and then the net pay we're going to calculate uh so it should be the same as the prior month too but we want to calculate that that's going to be the total earnings minus everything that we're taking out of the total earnings to get to the net pay formula being equals SUM, uh, I'm sorry, no, it's equals, and we want the total earnings minus SUM. Double click the sum function, and we'll highlight the OASDI to the 401k, and it's going to close it up. That's okay, good. So there it is, there. So 2052 and 36 cents. If we scroll back up, that's going to be the same calculation as up there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the employer portion of Social Security. So it's going to be the same, remember, but we're going to calculate it again. Equals the OASDI wages 